It's the Halloween month, y'all. The time of year to help yourself to a little treat. Go on. One film that indulges in its most base animal desires is Ruggiero Diodato's exploitative trek through the mud from 1980, Cannibal Holocaust. This is a film about a film. A professor stages a rescue mission to the Amazon in order to find a missing documentary group who went there to film a tribe of indigenous cannibals. He discovers they might have suffered a deadly fate when all he can find is their bones and cameras. Taking their film back to New York City, the professor examines what the documentary crew captured and discovers something that makes him question who's actually uncivilized. I'd like to get the positives out of the way first. The soundtrack, some of which you're hearing now, was great. Ranging from beautiful to terrifying, it's one of the few things I really left enjoying. I also really dug the theme of the film, but I'll get to that a little later. And when used, the practical gore effects were very impressive. <sighs> I hated this one. I think it could have said something very interesting about the rise of exploitation films in the late 70s, early 80s, but it lost all goodwill from me with the excessive amounts of actual animal murder. I won't list it all out for you, but it was shocking how much real violence towards animals there were in this film. Like, a turtle was deconstructed with a knife. Take that however the fuck you will. So you hold that within your mind, next to the fact that this is a movie exploring deplorable ideas, is if it bleeds it leads reporting evil? Is that more savage than what western society deems as savage? American Psycho comes to mind. Patrick Maitman didn't actually kill anyone for real, nor did the author Brett Easton Ellis, but he wrote all those actions down, all of Patrick Bateman's like sick desires. He had those ideas, those came from his brain. Good satire becomes almost inseparable from what it satirizes. Diodato has a clear disdain for the shocking, exploitative Mondo documentaries that came from Italy at the time. But in pointing a finger at those films, he made his own shocking and exploitative mockumentary. Uh, I struggle to recommend this one. When animals weren't getting murdered, I think there's something cool here. Early 80s Italian satire, which is technically one of the earliest found footage films. If there's a cut out there that removes the animal murder, ah, uh, shit, I don't know. And there's all that fake sexual assault, which was also excessive. Even though the director has denounced his choices, it was a film made by a sadist about sadists.